Hi guys, good morning and after a long time, I am starting with live trading from this week. As many people were requesting for live trading video from very long time, henceforth I will post regularly live trading video on my YouTube channel. Today is 7th April 2022 and time is around 8.30 and once market opens at 9.15, I will start with live trading analysis and once market opens, once I take the trade, I will show my order book. I show my MTM and I'll tell you where I take entry, where I take exit, which candle I take entry, what is the logic behind taking the trade. Everything will be discussed in this live trading video. And as usually I do it before starting with the live trading video, I'll start the preparation of pre-market analysis. I'll go to previous price action, I'll see past price action and I'll decide where is the support, where is the resistance, everything. So in pre-market analysis, I'll mark the levels, important levels of support and resistance and once market opens you yourself will see how price reacts to that levels on the chart in day trading. So without wasting much time let's go to the charts and let us start with the pre-market analysis. Hi guys good morning and welcome to this live trading video on 7th of April. Before starting the live trading video let us look at the pre-market analysis with the important levels on Nifty and Bank Nifty. This was the previous day candle previous day candle you can see that it's kind of a bearish candle though it's not huge candle it's kind of wicks on the both side and a small body kind of minor bearish candle now let us look at the any important levels on the chart the important level on the chart on the higher time frame currently i am using the daily time frame after that i'll be going to smaller time frame you can see that there is a strong support here that is this green candle low. Why I am saying this green candle low is the support? Why I am not saying about this candle? Why this is the support? Because this is the gap border. Gaps also very important in trading. Gap border. And where is the second border? Second border here. Okay, so this both are gap borders which are likely to act as a strong support here and strong support here. So if market opens above this black line, then it might take a support here. If it opens below the black line, then it may act as a resistance here. So that is what the gap border. So what we are going to do, we are going to mark those both the levels as a gap border. Okay, so we have marked the both the levels as a gap border. Now let's go to smaller time frame and let us see what are the other levels we can see here this is the levels we have marked and you can see that even yesterday it took the support near that gap border so this was the strong support yesterday because it was a gap border. now let us mark the regular pdh and pdl on the chart so also there is a important level is this this is also there is a small gap right so that also we will mark it so these are the important levels on your chart in nifty other than pivots and CPR. So now let's plot pivot and CPR. So we have plotted the pivot points now. So CPR will open once market opens. So this is the pre-market analysis in Nifty. So that means if market opens somewhere in this region, there is a strong resistance here. There is a gap border, there is a previous day high. So if market opens somewhere here, then there is a strong support here. Chances of bouncing is higher because there is a gap border and there is a previous day low. If market opens below this level, then there is a strong chance that it can act as a strong resistance. If it opens here, then it may go till here, then it can act as a resistance. If it breaks this level, then it can start going. That is the analysis in Nifty. And let us see what, what is global indices and SGX Nifty is saying. So this is the global indices and SGX Nifty. You can see from the screenshot is that SGX Nifty is showing 109 points down and US market you can see that there was a crash in US market previous day and all Asian markets are bleeding all are in the red so what it says it says that we are likely to open 100 points down previous day closing was here so what is the 100 points from here 100 points from here this is 17,800 so 17,700 here so we are likely to open somewhere here 100 points open mean we are likely to open bank nifty also you can see that there is a gap border here, right there is a gap border here bank nifty and this border has been already broken it so this is no more valid gap border now 
this is no more valid gap border so what we will do we will use this as a gap border now so previous day low is a gap border so this is what you can see on bank nifty now let's go to smaller time frame smaller time frame when you come to smaller time frame anyway previous day low and gap border is the same previous day high is this and since nifty is going to open gap down bank nifty also likely to open gap down so if it opens below this boundary line then i would be interested to take the long trade only after it breaks for this target so if it opens here and started taking support then i will take long here if it opens below this level then i'll wait for breakout of this level then i'll go long so market will open in another 10 minutes so once market open let me give you live market analysis and today being weekly expiry so what i'm going to do i'm going to sell option so let market opens and we'll take the live trade okay guys you can see that market has opened gap down but not as i expected it to open somewhere here but it didn't open a big gap down it opened somewhere here near this resistance which i was telling you that i said i will go long only if it breaks that resistance what about the nifty nifty yeah nifty i was expecting it to open somewhere here and nifty also you can see that it's opening here between these two gap borders between the support and resistance so now what i will do now i'll go long only if it breaks this level if it comes here and start making bullish price action then i will go long i will not be very much interested to go long here because immediately there is a cpr so i would avoid going long here rather i will prefer going long bank nifty making a big bearish candle and coming near the daily pivot so let us see bank nifty okay i will go long if it breaks the first candle high because cpr is not very wide here right so anyway too early to say anything it is just wait and watch let's wait for some time there is no trade in the first candle so we have to wait for some time we have to wait for price action no point in just jumping into the trade if you just jump into the trade shorting here thinking that market open gap down there is a important support here support what is the support gap border right so gap border also one of the important support in trading okay at the end of the candle though the candle has not at close but you can see that bank nifty trying to break this level right bank nifty making to break this level with the big wicks on the downside so let's wait till this candle closes as i said once this breaks this level i would be interested to go long in bank nifty by selling put option so candle is closed could not break that level so let us see whether this candle can break that level now you can see that bank nifty trying to break that level so if it breaks then i am going to go long can you see that candle could not break that level right this candle could not break before candle close it made a green candle and it look like it's going to break it so that's why it's very important that you have to wait until the candle closes don't jump into the trade until candle closes had this candle made a green candle and closed above that line then i would have gone long here i would have gone long but that didn't happen so i will wait and see what's happening in nifty nifty also you can see that it is trying to take the support near the gap board okay now you can see that nifty is trying to break that level if it breaks that level then it can go down it can crash because there was a important support here can you see that this was the important support nifty is coming near the support let us see whether nifty will break that support or will go up it's a interesting market to trade today if you are a support and resistance trader if you are a breakout trader because still it is not giving you any trades so that's why it is known as trading you need to have patience if you want to become a good trader first you need to have the discipline have that discipline patience look at this look at the nifty taking the support near the gap board bank nifty is not near the support bank nifty near the resistance okay guys now you can see that end of the next candle it's made another bullish candle here though there is no support for bank nifty here why it is making a bullish candle because nifty is at the support 
can you see clearly how nifty was at the support and bank nifty also taking support and now bank nifty making very bullish sign so you can see that i have taken my first trade at the average price of 133 executed i have taken 400 units of bank nifty 37500 put option at 133.50 let us wait for some time and let us see where it goes my analysis is bank nifty going to go up why because nifty is at the strong support based on the nifty chart i have taken a long trade in bank nifty let us see what happens now let us wait for some time and let us see whether finally it breaks that level if it doesn't break this level then i'll be under loss if it comes down i'll be under loss if it breaks this level and goes up then i'll be in profit so my analysis it's going to break this level and it will go up the reason why i'm taking the trade because nifty is taking the support near the gap border and is too much away from the 20 ema so there is a chance that it will goes towards the 20 ma that is the my analysis my analysis is that it's going to go like this my stop loss is below this level below this level is my stop loss now you can see that i am in profit from minus i am into green now so let's wait and watch now you can see that as candle is breaking that level my profit also going up what's nifty nifty also you can see that it's trying to take the support from that level and trying to go up okay guys you can see that finally back in the green you can see that why it is taking support here what's the reason it is taking support even though there is no pivot or anything look at the nifty you remember during the pre market analysis i was telling you that this line is very important this is the border line gap borders very important right can act as a strong support and you can see that nifty is taking support exactly at that level and bank nifty also going up so i have taken a long trade based on this candle i have taken a long trade based on nifty because nifty was at the support so that is why you see that how important is to mark the levels on your chart so that you will know where exactly support and resistance are on your chart okay guys you can see that nifty is trying to break that level which was a very important level so let's wait and see whether it really makes a breakout or it makes a false breakout false breakout mean it will go down and then it will reverse but it's a bearish sign if that level is broken but sometime it can be false breakout also if it goes down then there is a chances that bank nifty also can break and start going down and trade can fail as of now i am still in profit so nifty even though it looks like it has broken the strong support but so for me it looks like it's going to trap the traders who went short thinking that support has broken so it looks like a false breakout so let's wait and watch now you can see that bank nifty making a big breakout candle bullish candle broken this congestion zone this is the congestion zone of previous day low gap border and 20 ama it has broken and made a bullish candle now it looks like bullish in bank nifty going towards the cpr but if you look at the nifty you can see that nifty at the strong resistance what is the resistance here 20 ama resistance daily pivot resistance gap border resistance so there are three important resistance for nifty if nifty breaks this congestion zone this confluence of resistance then it's very bullish nifty will be very bullish if it breaks this zone if it doesn't break and if it reverses then chances that bank nifty also can reverse so nifty is at the very important level now 20 ma resistance daily pivot resistance gap border resistance so this candle will tell you whether it will break or it is coming down and you can see that bank nifty after making a bullish candle now it is making a slightly bearish candle simple reason because nifty is taking resistance at the 28 okay the guys now you can see that bank nifty is going towards the cpr and my profit is around 26000 27000 but i still not book the profit why i not still book the profit because it's still not under my risk reward of 1 raise to 2 so that's why in trading don't just book the profit the moment you see the profit have a risk reward 
that means how much is your risk how much is your reward suppose your risk is 20000 is your stop loss if 20000 risk you have taken in a trade then you should ensure that you will take profit only at 40000 that is 1 rest to 2 suppose you have taken 25000 as a stop loss then you should wait for profit of 50000 that is 1 rest to 2 so that is why you should always risk 1% and aim for reward of 2% don't just book the profit the moment you see profit it has came near the resistance now on any other day i would have booked the profit because now it came near the cpr but since today is the expiry day and you can see that currently bank nifty trading at around 37640 so my put option is 37500 right that is what i sold so it is out of the money out of the money mean it is going to become almost zero by market close so there is no point in booking the profit until and unless you think that market will crash like this if today market crashes like this then i may incur a loss from profit i may go into loss and my stop loss can anything can happen in the market but i am not bothered about my stop loss i am focusing on risk reward that's it and let us look at the nifty nifty look at this i told you that this can be false breakout and looks like it is going to be a false breakout it looks like it is breaking that all three resistance daily pivot gap border and then 28 though candle has not closed but if it starts going up then it's a very bullish sign in nifty and bank nifty you can see that currently it is at the cpr on other day i would have booked the profit since today is the expiry day even though i am in good profit still i not booked it i will rather wait for option to come into the single digit so that i can have a good risk reward what i mean by false breakout false breakout mean this was the level which was broken by this candle look looked like it is going to go down right but what happened you can see that finally it has reversed that mean it's a false breakout it's a false breakout it's not a real breakout now if this candle stays above the cpr then it's a bullish sign why it's a bullish sign because it has broken the cpr resistance and same time nifty also above the all the resistance nifty doesn't have resistance till here small resistance here that is the swing high but next resistance is here at the day's high and the next pivot so it's a bullish sign so whenever you see this kind of setup where both nifty and bank nifty looking bullish then it's a high probability set and here you may see some resistance here here you may find some resistance because of the this price rejection can you see the price rejection here so it may face some resistance if it breaks this level then next resistance is here next resistance is at the previous day high okay now you can see that this candle trying to break that congestion congestion level of this resistance so bank nifty looking very bullish today so let us see next point of resistance is here that is the previous day high even though there is a small resistance of daily pivot but this will be important resistance and let's look at the nifty yes nifty also looking bullish this is the candle which has decided that instead of going down it will reverse the position so people who went down here after the breakout all they had their stop loss here stop loss is the buy order and this candle has taken all their stop loss so so traders who went short here they got trapped so this candle has trapped them. so as expected coming near the most important resistance from here it can take some consolidation and then it can break out or it can reverse but if you have taken a long trade somewhere here wherever you have taken a long trade this is the place you can book your profit but still you can see that i am not booked my profit because i am expecting option price to come in single digit so once it comes to single digit i am planning to book my profit next important resistance will be here next important resistance is this and for nifty next important resistance is this 
next resistance would be here can you see that now it has broken this resistance as well i was telling you that this is the most important resistance and now it's coming to the another gap ward now it's coming near this this gap ward this is also going to work as a strong resistance what about the nifty so now both nifty bank nifty at the make or break level that mean either it can break or it can reverse hi guys you can see that when price touched here i was telling that if you want you can book the profit here because this is the main resistance and you can see that exactly from that level now price is coming down and you can see that i did not book my profit here and now market came all the way till here still i not book my profit if i want i can book my profit of 44 45000 but as i stick to my rule i said i will book my profit only when the option comes into single digits that mean it should come below 10 i am safe as long as price is not breaking this level if price breaks this level and closes today below this level then i will be in loss as long as bank nifty stays above this level i will be in profit and option will go into single digits only if it breaks then i am at the risk of losing all my profit now look at this from 47 48000 profit now it's at 37 38 but still i am holding my position so that is why in trading most important is following the rule following the risk reward so my risk was 25000 and i am only take my loss if my mtm goes to minus 25 until then i will stick with my position i will not take my profit i will follow strict risk reward as long as bank nifty stays above 500 since i sold 37500 put option as long as bank nifty stays above 37500 my position will be safe now it is current price is you can see that 37536 so it has to stay above 37500 to keep this trade open okay guys as i was telling you that once it reaches single digit i'll book my profit and you can see that 8 rupees around so now it is time to book my profit i have booked the profit here you can see that i booked the profit and the profit is 50660 that is the profit after keeping the trade for more than 5 and a half hours finally i closed the trade option order book you can see here i sold option at 133.50 and i sold 37500 put option and i kept my stop loss of 25000 rupees that was the risk i taken on this trade my risk was 25000 rupees take profit target was 50000 i was looking for this profit since i have taken 25000 risk my profit target was 50000 which is 1 raised to 2 risk reward option which i sold at 133.50 finally it became how much 6 rupees 85 paise this is where i sold so total how much profit i made in this trade close to 127 points close to 127 points which gave me profit of around 50000 precisely it is 50660 that is the profit i made in this trade so that's it about live trading today in bank you keep hearing about the discipline patience following the rules in trading right and this is what discipline is this is what patience is this is what following the rules so i have seen that i have taken my first trade around 9:30 and i closed my trade at, at around 2:45 that is more than 5 hours for a single trade second is i say discipline and following the rules in live market you have seen that i was saying that i follow 1 rest to 2 risk reward 25000 is my risk in this trade and 50000 is my take profit and you have seen that even though trade was in my favor for most of the time it was in profit of 45 46000 i didn't book my profit because because i was following my rules of 1 rest to 2 risk reward from 45000 profit it came to almost 25 26000 again and i didn't panic 
I just shown the discipline of sitting tight and following the rule of 1 to 2 risk reward. The beauty of 1 to 2 risk reward is even though you are wrong 50% of the time, still you can make a decent profit at end of the month if you follow 1 to 2 risk reward in every trade and you have just 50% win rate. If you want to become a day trader, then you need three things. One is you need to know the price action. That means you need to know the direction of the market. If you are a directional based trader, then you need to know the direction of the market, whether market is likely to go up or go down or stay sideways. In the beginning only I was telling you that I am bullish on the market. I am looking to go long, right? And you know that after that market started going up. So for that analyzing the direction of the market, you need to know the price action. If you want to learn price action, then you can learn it from my day trading webinar called day trading with pivot points and price action. I discuss almost 15 strategies in day trading based on price action and pivot points. I discuss price action in detail in that course. So if you are interested to learn day trading with price action and pivot points, then you can join my day trading webinar by clicking the link below this video in the description section. Second is you need to know whether you have to buy option or you have to sell option or you have to do the spreads you have to do the hedge, whatever it is, you need to know that. So it depends on day to day, it depends on market structure, it depends on price action, everything. For that, you need to know good knowledge about option. Which option strike you have to choose, everything. I discuss in my course called option strategies made easy. If somebody is very new to option, even he can buy this course because I try to make it very simple to understand option course. That link also you can see below this video in description section. And the third thing is, Today in the pre-market analysis, I said we are likely to open gap down because global indices and Asian indices are trading in the red. And what is the reason I was telling that I am bullish on the market even though there is a gap down? Because most of the time, whenever market opens gap down due to global reasons, then we are likely to go up till the CPR. CPR works like a magnet on the chart. If it's a gap up, then it's likely to come towards the CPR. If it's a gap down, it is likely to go towards the CPR. So our market opened in the red because of the global indices, because of the global news, not related to our local news, right? Such time, most of the time it goes back towards the CPR, which is called mean reversion in trading. So in day trading, you should know the market structure. There are six type of market structure that will help you in trading to take the right trade. So for that, you should know the market structure how trading works in the market. For that also, I launched a new course called Anybody Can Trade in Stock Market. So this course is also useful for people who are very new to stock market, who are very new to trading, who don't know even ABCD of stock market. For such people, I have made a course called Anybody Can Trade in Stock Market, especially for beginners or people who are just entered stock market. For them, I have made this course. That also link you can see below this video in the description section. And finally, people who are into full time job who can't do day trading regularly. For them, I have swing trading course called advanced swing trading strategies for full time job holder. That's about today's live trading video. I hope you all learned many things in today's live trading video. If you have any question, put it in the comment section and as promised, Henceforth, you will see regularly live trading video on my YouTube channel. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button below this video in description section. And if you like this video, then hit the like button and I'll see you soon with a new video. Thanks and take care.